Hello, I'm Atta Jumain. You're watching Hornbill TV's English News Bulletin. A three-day capacity building draining program began today at the District Soil Conservation Office in Dimapur. Participants included from the Agriculture and Allied Departments. The officials informed that the government of Nagaland has rolled out soil testing labs in all districts of the state and it is the first to receive digital agriculture machines in the country. Kashiho Sangtam, the Minister for Soil and Water Conservation, also attended the program where he stressed on the importance of increasing food production for self-sustainability. Let's have a look at the report. This is the training program conducted by the Department of Soil and Water Conservation. We have the resource person over here. Sir, can you please introduce yourself? Yeah. Uh, I am Professor Dipendra Thakuria from Central Agriculture University in Paul, and I belong to College of Postgraduate Studies in Agricultural Sciences, which is located in Umiam, Meghalaya. And now presently I am also associated with Government of Nagaland at the capacity of technical expert for biofertilizers and organic farming promotion in Nagaland. Mm -hmm. So uh, can you please tell us what is the purpose and objective of this training program that has been conducted here at the department? So uh, regarding the purpose, first I would like to say that the Agriculture Production Commission or Government of Nagaland and Sri Y. Kekito Shema Sarji and he is very instrumental in bringing up this organic farming and he wants to promote and also wants to see that state of Nagaland becomes an organic producer. So with these uh, dreams, so they want to develop the biofertilizer, uh, means produce biofertilizers which is native to Nagaland soil and also to produce in mass scale so that it can be made available to the farmers in every corners of the state. So with this mandate, so when uh, these things were discussed, then during that time as a technical expert, I also emphasize that we must first create the facility and not only the facility for mass production, but with facility, we need to develop the skills of the government officials who will be involved in production and maintenance of mother culture like that biofertilizer culture, biopesticide culture. So we need to develop their skills because at this moment under the able guidance of our Agriculture Production Commissioner, Government of Nagaland and all the officials associated with him and with the initiative of Soil and Water Conservation de uh, Department, Government of Nagaland. I think the Nagaland farmers are ready for such techniques and new implementation because I think as far as I know the farmers should be given awareness that how beneficial it should be first and then implement such uh, you know techniques and processes. So do you think the Nagaland farmers are ready to give up traditional ways of farming? Uh, what my uh, emphasis is, we are not eliminating traditional way of farming. We are saying to improve the traditional form of farming so that that farm, farming activity can be a kind of entrepreneurship model. Means traditional way of farming in Nagaland, that was a subsistence farming. So we want to develop that same traditional way of farming through an improved way and to make it as a business model. This bio fertilizer, no? here though we used to manage here in Metsibema. Yeah. Bio fertilizer life is here. Yeah. There we, four fertilizers we used to manage. Yeah. One is phosphotica, azotopetre, yeah. azosperlum, rhizopium. Is it beneficial for us or not? Say, I would say that there is a biofertilizer production unit existed in Medjifema yeah. under the state department. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, the facility that was created sometimes during maybe 2000 or 2000 to 2010, in between that exact year, I don't know. But that is a traditional way of developing biofertilizer. And that biofertilizer, when they develop, they have it uh, mixing the biofertilizer material with charcoal and other material. It is a solid formulation. Now, the problem of biofertilizer 
the thing is it's a self life yes. self mind during storage yeah. how much living organism will retain so as per quality concern that minimum number of colony forming unit technically i am telling that should be 10 to the power 8 number of cells per gram of carrier material just making sure and assuring that this is not a way to eradicate or eliminate the traditional farming methods in the state of Nagaland, but to improve the traditional farming methods of the farmers and also increase production and increase their livelihood. Reporter Esther with camera person Seye for Hornbill TV.